This week's parasha, the famous story when Yaakov was about to meet his brother Esau, which wanted to kill him. But beforehand, he bumped into the angel, the angel of evil. And they had a scuffle all night. They were trying to beat each other up, which obviously the sages teach us the forces of evil tried to destroy Judaism. Yaakov was about to create that new religion came from Avraham Yitzchak, but Yaakov established it with all of his children, and the forces of evil didn't like that and wanted to destroy him. So the story goes that they were scuffling all night, and in the end, the angel saw he couldn't defeat him, and he gave him a real hard punch. Yaakov walked away limping, hit his foot, and we know from the story that Yaakov won, and the angel blessed him because he said, you fought all night with the angel, and you won. Later on, when he met Esau, just to get Esau a little squirmy, he said, I met the angel, I fought with him, I could do that too. He just threw it into him to show that he won that fight with the angel. The question is, when two people have a fight, the angel flew off afterwards. Yaakov walked away limping. So who won the fight? He didn't destroy him. But at the end of the day, he walked away limping. He was injured, disabled. You know what the definition of winning is? Walking away limping and saying, I didn't fall. I'm not going to throw everything away because something bad happened to me. I'm not going to say, forget it, I lost. No, continue fighting. As long as that person didn't destroy you, you're a winner if you continue on with your life. Yaakov could have said, oh, I'm messed up. Look what he managed to do to me. So what? He tried to destroy you. He didn't. Continue on. That's what winning means. Too many times in our life we give up when something small happens to us. When in essence, okay, you could just move on. That's the message. Yaakov kept Yiddishkeit. He could he, he built Yiddishkeit on this premises that it's okay to fall sometimes. It's not called losing if you move on. Thank you and good Shabbos. This week's Shabbos, the traveling Hasidim will be having another great Shabbaton in Albany. Looking forward. Have a great Shabbos.